Hello, everybody. Howdy. Sitting here having a mug of tea. Yes, even this guy's waving hello to everybody. <laughs> but before we start this nail in the coffin, I want to read a scripture. Revelation 6, 8. And it really applies to this guy right here. And I saw, and look, a pale horse, and the one seated on it had the name Death, or Grim Reaper, and Hades was closely following him. And authority was given them over the, uh, over the fourth part of the earth to kill with a long sword, and with food shortage, and with deadly plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. I have a question for you. Why are you pulling people out of destructive cults and giving them their freedom? I don't get that. But either way, hit the music. How many we got, Kim? We've got six. I mean, honestly, Aren't people in cults symbolically dead? <laughs> okay, what do we have? Okay, so the green one is for Clark. All right, Clark. It's been nice talking to you, Clark. Okay, and then we have a mother and daughter, Ooh. Ashley and Carrie. These two right here, the two gray ones. Then we have Beth Seam. Right here. Nikki. Ooh, the clear one, yeah. And then, and then we have Penny, who just turned in her disassociation letter. But what's interesting is her husband has been out for a while, so he wants to be on the old timers. Oh, okay. So the old timers what? is for Pete. Pete, listen up. Nice, loud one. And then we have Tony and Sharon. Tony and Sharon. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Well, you know, friends... All good things must come to an end. You know, Kim and I started this November 1st, 2014, and I was in my shop one day, and I just, I had a harebrained idea to, you know, do something like this to kind of keep a record of how many people are actually coming out of Watchtower. And we all know how full it's getting. Yeah, I mean, we we can see <laughs> what what this year, because... You know, today's date is October 24th, and this is going to be the last one that we do in this coffin lid. But, hey, 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 wait, no, wait a minute. No, no, don't get the wrong idea. Don't think that the We're ceremonies done. are done because look at what I did today in my shop. <laughs> I made another coffin lid. So these ceremonies are going to keep coming. Um... This is just fantastic. I mean, never in our wildest dreams did we think, you know, a bonehead idea, a knucklehead idea by a coffin lid would bring so many people together. Yeah. And, and that's, this, is what, this is what this has done. It has really brought people together. Um, Kim and I have shared so many stories. We've Skyped with so many of you. Uh, it, it's just it's just absolutely been our pleasure to do this and yes. it's our pleasure to be able to sit here and say that we're going to continue on and I think yes. what we're going to do is we're going to end the ceremony with this particular video and then we'll give it a week and we'll see how many um, people want to be represented in the first one of November 1st, 2014, and it's going to 15. overlap, 2015, but it's going to overlap into 2016, trust me, it will overlap, just like this one did, <laughs> and wow. we're still going to use this guy here, um, so far he's in still pretty good shape, so, <laughs> yes, but um, to those that we announced today, uh, welcome to your freedom, if there's anything that Kim and I can do, along the way to help you maybe uh, you know sort out some of the bullshit from Watchtower we'll be happy to do that. <laughs> I think the only thing to do about that is just get a big shovel. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. And uh, we are on Facebook. Um, 
I can't remember if it's Mike Kim or Kimmy M. Brooks, one or the other, on Facebook. And, you know, it's been wonderful, you know, this past week. You know, thank you, everyone, for your comments and emails and PMs on Facebook and, you know, phone calls and Skyping and, you know, cards and everything. It's just been wonderful, you know. And I apologize if I haven't quite answered all your messages and emails yet. Well, but I, the I, Rio Rancho video took, a lot. took five days of about, oh, six to seven hours a day just to edit, you know. And, and now, just to kind of give you a little teaser, um, we're going back through some of the clips and um, we're doing only what I can do mock it now <laughs> yes. not not you tyler but um tim and and god i hope he's got a sense of humor <laughs> i love you tim <laughs> isn't he our favorite new little elder cloud well what um well we might as well just divulge it here well yeah what you i keep a secret. No, i can't know what I didn't realize um, after talking to Tyler once the video got uploaded and we started getting so many views that he went ahead and texted the video to Tim. <laughs> so he's going to see this. I hope. Yeah. I hope he does. Oh, come on. Give him a break. <laughs> so for those of you who have the technology, grab our video and keep it, you know, and anyone who wants to mirror it on your channel, go ahead, you know, grab it, upload it to your channel. Because if Tim, Tim sees it, we don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> what he'll try to do. <laughs> yeah. Tim, this is consequences, not persecution, brother. Yeah. It's consequences. And for those of you who can't watch the original YouTube of The Real Rand Show because of some songs we use and it's banned in your country, down below in the description of that video is a link to the Vimeo. And we also have the link to just the still shot of the aerial photo of, you know, the Kingdom yeah. Hall and the Mira's house. And, you know, thank you all for all your wonderful comments, you know, and friendship and support on that. And, um, and we're not done. Um, no. We've got some wonderful suggestions from folks that have watched the uh, video. One thing that we're going to try to do is we're going to put together a shorter version of it and send it to the um, ADA, the Americans Disability Association or ACT, to see if there's anything that they could do um, from from their end because, you know, this is a pretty despicable thing yeah. um, against a disabled American. And it just doesn't have to be a disabled American. It, it's This is a dis disabled human being. That's yeah. what this is. Yeah. And also, before I forget, we want to apologize to the couple. She asked us if we could say a happy birthday to her husband, Joel, um, on October 2nd. We back. <laughs> and so we apologize for that. Happy birthday, Joel. You know. Belated happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, I don't always get messages on time, you know, because, yeah, I just can't. A lot of times read emails the same day that I get them because I do get a lot of emails oh, yeah. and messages and get behind you know just like because I've put all of those to the back burner for now to work on the Rio Rancho video I have a lot that you know I need to answer so appreciate your patience and um, yeah, just be patient please. yes and welcome to all our new subscribers and thank you everyone you know for watching our videos and without you we yeah. wouldn't have, you know, this. And especially the last one on the Rio Rancho. I mean, we, we could not believe what we've seen. In less than 24 hours, we had um, over 2,000 2, views combined, right? Between. Um, did I get that number wrong? Yeah. The number Pardon I me. had is 1,600 ah. views between the YouTube and go. the Vimeo. Yeah. There was almost 1,700, so, yeah. you know, we appreciate that. And, um, yeah, let's just spread this video around because I, we think it's worth, you know, exposing what happened to the Mira family. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, it shows conclusively that, at least from the elders' perspective, that there are men that don't care about 
worldly people, their neighbors, and if they're displaying this kind of lack of compassion for non-Jehovah's Witnesses, think about the lack of compassion that they're going to show people they call their own brothers and sisters. I mean, they're even willing to disfellowship a couple on hearsay. Yeah. Just so, throw us away. Just throw us and away. And that's like, why you've created a monster. Yeah. And I wanted to mention that apparently there was someone trying to defend this congregation, this kingdom hall, and saying that the grade of the land wouldn't allow them to move it over 40 feet. Well, unless you're actually there and see the lay of the land, you know, it's kind of up above um, the main road Unser there in Rio Rancho, you know, and it is a slight slope down, right. but there is no grade from side to side. And the thing is, is we did not mention this in the video because we didn't feel it was very important at the time, but because someone brought up, oh, well, they had to put it there because of the grade of the land. The Mira, uh, Janet Mira told us that they hauled in, the Jehovah's Witnesses hauled in so much dirt onto that property to build their kingdom hall even higher yep. that the city made them take half of the dirt out because it was causing it would cause the water to back up and flood the muras yeah so <laughs> yeah so it, it, but the thing being is if they were willing to haul in that much dirt to change the grade of where the Kingdom Hall ended up, they could have easily changed the grade 40 feet over and not block the view. I mean, this is... Oh. So, if you're going to come out with these type of illogical questions to defend Watchtower, you better damn well have, have your ducks in a row. And I'm know all you, available information. And know what you're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Because, I mean, let's <clears throat> be honest... You know, even around here where we have a lot, what they call auroras and stuff, you they are able to build things and change grades, haul in dirt or whatever, you know, use culverts or anything. You know, and in this particular piece to where it is kind of flat, you know, there's just a very slight slope down. I mean, it's not even a question of which side of right. this land they could have put the kingdom hall. Right. Because from one side to the other, it's basically the same gentle slope. Yeah, from from north to south, the grade remained, remained the same. It's from east to west, or from west to east is where the water would, would yeah. drain. And um, so the issue wasn't a, um, east, a west to east, it was a... Let's see, I'm tongue-tied now. <laughs> but anyhow, again, for the naysayers, you better have your ducks in a row on this one. I'm telling you. Can't ya. defend them. You can't. Can't nope, defend them. You em. just can't do it. Yeah. So, I think that's All it right. for this one. And Again, welcome to your freedom. Um, it's been a year full of joy and happiness. And did you count how many nails oh, we had yes, on here? Oh, yes, I did. I Thank you for reminding me. I totally forgot. <clears throat> Before we started this video, I did another count. And we have 246. Not counting the old timers. That's just the pins that are in this coffin lid. So we will be retiring it to the shelf up here for everybody to see this and more than happy, you know, to start another coffin lid. Absolutely. So let's fill that thing up even quicker. Bye. Bye, everybody.